Hello, it's Mike again, along with my um, skeleton and a skeleton of a gorilla for some reason, no real reason why. How to embed a YouTube playlist. This used to be really easy, but it actually isn't now. And to be perfectly frank with you, it started to annoy me quite a lot today. And I'll tell you why, but I'm going to get straight down to it of how you actually do this thing. I will explain why it's more difficult now, but the big deal is, let's just put the laser pointer on, is that to embed a YouTube playlist, bottom line is you need an iframe. The iframe code looks like this. And for those people, especially who are new to this, let me just talk you through um, to embed a playlist onto a website, you use something called iframes, HTML hypertext markup language. So you're talking about in this example, it's a 560 width by a 315 height. You're actually talking to be the target to be YouTube forward slash embed a video series question mark list equals. Now the big deal in yellow here is the playlist on YouTube will have a individual code and it's a very, very long thing like that. And that's why I put it in yellow um, highlights. Then you say after the target, which is the playlist, then it's a frame border, whatever that might be. And then it says by default, it would be allow accelerometer, auto play, encrypted, gyroscope, picture in picture, that sort of stuff, allow full screen. And then it will be end iframe and you're done. OK, easy as that. One tip that you need to do is replace, of course, the yellow area with whatever playlist you want. And I'll explain this in a second, because the thing with all of this uh, dark theme and stuff on YouTube desktop now is that um, I put in pink here that if you look at this is the URL in a say, Chrome or any any browser for that matter, it's got this thing called disable polymer equals true. And that is a really big deal. A lot of people, a lot of um, people when they use Chrome and things, they don't really pay too much attention to the URLs at the top there, but you can manipulate them. Now, as an idea, what I just did on mobile is I thought, can I even share a playlist on mobile, which should be really easy. And this is what I mean by the frustration is that when I click the, the share arrow here, big shout out to ASMR darling, fantastic channel. And there's one of mine. Um, the moment we click share, all you get on the YouTube um, app that I've got on Android is an error occurred. So quite honestly, if I even wanted to say not individually to um, shout out, say, to the whole playlist or sorry, a video is if I tried to share the whole playlist to repeat, I can even do it on mobile. So you can see that this is a bit um, frustration level. So what I'm going to get at and that is I know this video has already been three minutes and it's kind of given you the answers. But if you want to see some context behind that, if you wanted to, uh, this is my blog, by the way, um, embed a playlist. It looks like this. Look, you go to a website and it says, look, in this example, here's some Earth, UD, um, Earth Studio stuff. And there are 34 videos on my video series to do with learning Earth Google Studio. One forward slash 34. So that's one of 34. You can click this little thing and you can dial in and dial out, you know, it's really useful if you're actually looking to um, make playlists on your own channel or follow someone else's. I think I've got near enough 200 um, playlists on my own channel now, most of mine, but, but about maybe 5% of other people's. So that's what it looks like there. And then it goes down and I've got another one there. It's 18 videos to do with um, some examples. And there's one with 21. And the really annoying part is this, this second one down here, sorry, third one down here at the bottom. If I go to um, edit my own blog is this morning it just wasn't working. And that's what's led me into this inquiry to be to a level and say, hold on a second, why didn't it work? What What is the code that I've actually got wrong? So if you're, this is blogger, of course, I'm using. So if I go and just make this a bit bigger, you can see that the HTML sits down here. And that's exactly where we've got those iframes. And I've got three sets of them. Now that's where to paste the code in, you know, sure, if you're with me on that. And this is the frustration part is that when you go to the official YouTube help, it actually says, embed videos and playlists and it tells you and it's got a little out of date quite honestly video there it, it, it kind of works but you have to do far too much work for it and then it tells you to embed a video which is you know fair enough we embed a lot and then to embed a playlist and i'm going to read this to you sign in fair enough on the left side um select the playlist fair enough copy the playlist id which is that big long um cody thing modify the embed code 
in the place of the video, then paste, paste the code, and it ends up with the example that I have just given you. That's quite a bit of work, and it should be a lot easier than that, because when you go on to the thing, and this is where I'm going is, that this is my own channel, that if I wanted to embed this list right now, and I can't do it, because what I've got is I've got dark theme on, and, uh, and there's a load of polymers going on, which is the coding inside Chrome, which makes it look really, really nice. But my problem is I can't um, find any kind of share button on here. So therefore, you could click Edit, and this is, you know, why would you want to edit your own playlist if you wanted to share it? And forgive my, you know, sort of bluntness and frankness, but but this is, you know, how it's going you know, for any user, um, because they're human beings, you know, most of us, and therefore I've got emotions. So what you do is you go into your playlist right now, and this could be somebody else's, then you have to hit the share button, then you have to hit the embed, and then you have to check it out. And in actual fact, that works. But what you'll notice at the very top is that to actually get in there, um, the URL at the top in the address bar has been modified to be and disabled underscore polymer equals true. Um, and so therefore, that's why that and disable polymer is quite handy to know, because if you go on to, as an example, um, let me just show you, this one is, uh, this is really good actually, Jake Knapp, uh, Knapp's uh, sprint videos, if you're into sprint, which is a way of working to problem solve and to um, make things happen. So if I go in there and I if you were still with me at six minutes, nearly seven minutes in the video, it's worth it if you do a lot of this, is you'll notice, like, here we go again, can't do it, because there's no share buttons on someone else's or, or on this, this list. So therefore, you have to go back, and this is where I need it, um, to actually, hmm, it's gone, where's it gone, where's it gone, there you go, and I'll show you what I mean, and I'm doing, just selecting and disabled polymer equals true, copy that on the keyboard, go back to the one that I had, manipulate that and paste, uh, hit enter, and then when it refreshes, it will lose the polymer, and boom, there we are, we can actually share it. And this is what I do on a daily basis to get my videos to help people learn out to the general public on my blog or my channels, it's annoying. And then if I go to another one here, which is not actually mine, this is my Gorilla Head Mike Downs test channel, and you'll notice once again, I can't share the playlist on someone else's channel. So the only way I've found to do it is once again, you've got your big, long, dangly um, playlist code look like that, but I need to paste in the polymer equals uh, disable the polymer equals true, whatever the thing is, and then when it refreshes, look, you go to the white screen, and then you go to the share in the normal way. In which case, the long story short is to say, he says, you know, like going insane on a Saturday afternoon, is rather than doing all of that, what you could have done is actually gone to the playlist and copied, say, that code and just copy it, Yes, so, so when we're actually in here and we've actually got this, we could um, get this long code, get the whole iframe, and then copy-paste the brand new playlist in there, and therefore it will work. Long story, pretty much short, I hope. Good luck with embedding playlists if that's something you need to do.